Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to calculate clearance under bridge. This tutorial is structured in three easy to follow steps, ensuring you have all the information needed to navigate bridge clearances safely and efficiently. In this tutorial, you will learn how to convert charted bridge height to actual bridge height and how to calculate a correction to be applied to air draft. Let's get started. Bridge height is marked on nautical charts, both paper and electronic. Heights are given in meters or feet. The unit of heights is shown in the chart title block. On electronic chart display, the unit of heights is meters. The charted bridge height represents the distance from the bridge's underside to a specific water level reference point, known as the chart datum for overhead clearance heights. This reference point may vary depending on the chart. To find this datum, refer to the chart's title block. On some charts, the chart datum for overhead clearance heights is taken as highest astronomical tide. On other charts, it is the mean high water springs. Always verify the datum in the chart's title block. <music> highest astronomical tide is the highest level that can be expected to occur under average meteorological conditions and under any combination of astronomical conditions. Highest astronomical tide is not the extreme level as certain meteorological conditions can cause a higher level known as a storm surge. Highest astronomical tide is established through historical sea level data analysis. Mean high water springs is the average of the two consecutive high tides occurring during periods with the greatest tidal range within a month. <music> mast height is the height of the ship's tallest mast measured from the keel. This information can be found in the ship's general arrangement plan or other ship drawings. Determine corrected air draft as follows. Take the difference in draft forward and aft. Divide by the length between perpendiculars times the distance from the deepest perpendicular to the mast. This is the increase in air draft. Above that, determined by subtracting the deepest draft from the height of the mast. Let's translate the aforementioned text into two equations. Draft forward equals 10 meters, draft aft equals 13 meters. Length between perpendiculars equals 247 meters. Distance from deepest perpendicular to mast equals 60 meters. Mast height equals 55.1 meters. <music> Determine tide prediction data. Consult the relevant tide tables to find the height of tide and the chart datum for overhead clearance heights, as defined in step one. Calculate the actual bridge height. The actual bridge height is the distance measured from the underside of the bridge down to the water level for a given time on a given day. To find the actual bridge height, subtract the height of tide from the highest astronomical tide and add the result to the charted bridge height Charted bridge height was defined in step one. Calculate ship's mast clearance. Take the corrected air draft from the actual bridge height and you are done. By following these steps, you can confidently navigate bridges while ensuring the safety of your vessel. If the mast clearance is insufficient for safe passage under a bridge, you may need to wait for the tide to fall to a lower level or take in ballast water. Do not attempt to increase the ship's speed to take advantage of the squat effect, as squatting is an unpredictable and complex phenomenon influenced by many factors. In addition to the bodily sinkage associated with increased speed, the ship may also trim either by the head or stern, and if she trims in the wrong direction, mast clearance will decrease instead of increase. Furthermore, banking and underkeel clearance are also concerns. <music> 